Hi guys, hope all of you are doing good. And I know that all those who are partying in Smart India Hackathon 2023 are definitely not doing good. Because there has been a lot of rising issues that I have to expose in this video. In the previous video, we would have talked about the confirmation mails not getting. And most of the teams have now received the confirmation mail <laughs> just uh, one week before the finale uh, with the nodal centers communicating them. And uh, still no mails for t-shirts and standees. I don't know if they think that uh, we all have our own showroom where we can go and print it out. Just you get the template and you can go and print it out. I don't know what they are thinking about that because you need to prepare your own standee and the t-shirt. It's not like uh, something that's going to happen at a second. That is one thing. And train tickets availability, though, just leave it because teams are just receiving confirmation mails. And there is no chance for them to get train tickets, especially the ones who are having a long distance travel. For maybe two days or two and a half days or three days and stuff like that and uh, also the examination stuff most colleges have not rescheduled the exams let's go with the statistics again in tamil nadu itself there are around 428 teams last time which we saw and there's a new issue here something like wildcard we will talk about that too and uh, most, most of the teams from TN won't be coming and this itself brings down the equation that in every problem statement at least one or two teams won't be there. So it may be a finals where only three teams will be participating for each problem statement. And isn't that a rising issue? Isn't that a concern that the Smart India Hackathon panel has to take? And this was the content of the previous video and if you want you can check it uh, from the i button upside. But this video is to expose something very crucial. Um, rather than me talking here, let's just uh, get down to my system. So, okay, uh, just we dropped a video two days before, like about the Smart India Hackathon issues and stuff. There, I received a comment stating that I submitted my idea for a specific problem statement, but I got shortlisted for another problem statement. And this was a concern which I received from one of the person first i thought okay it may be a mistake and then i came to realize that more than five to ten teams have reached out to me stating that we did not submit for this problem statement but we have got uh, shortlisted for a specific problem statement and i just contacted with them today i have their mails with their consent only i'm showing their mails so we applied for ps1376 but got selected in ps13677 before uploading the documents we thoroughly check everything but we still don't know how this happened. I've attached the description of both the problem statements below. Our deadline to upload the consent letter is tomorrow and SH is not responding to any of our calls and mails. I don't know why this SH panel is still there. Even in Telegram, the SPOC group or the official group, they are not responding to calls, they are not responding to mails, anything. Okay, we'll talk about that. We tried contacting through our college SPOC as well, but they are unresponsive. If there is no response from SH side by tonight, then I don't know we have don't know if we have any other option rather than dropping out of the event. I'm not sure of how this could happen as there's no relevance at all between the PS we applied and the PS we got. So they send the screenshot. This is one of the problem statement which they had applied, and this is the problem statement which they have got shortlisted, which has no link. What kind of evaluation are what kind of evaluation is this panel doing? They don't have even an idea of what this problem statement is and they have got shortlisted in this problem statement. I feel pathetic to call myself as an evaluator of Smart India Hackathon 2023. It's a shame for me and uh, I have been already removed from the panel just because of the previous video. I forgot to say that. I have not been receiving any updates from them. It's fine. It's fine. When I raise voice for you and these people are doing this stuff, it's fine. I am 100% okay with it. But this is something that is completely not acceptable. And this is not the only person, okay? Like multiple persons message me the same. This is a person named as Haryam. I have a, I had a talk with him as well. I hope this email finds you well. My name is Haryam Singh and I am the team member. Okay, okay, okay. So we have, we were thrilled to have submitted a solution for problem statement SIH 1349 under the Ministry of Railway. And to our surprise, we discovered that we have been selected for SIH 1422 despite not submitting any solution for the specific problem statement. <laughs> I, I, I have no words, okay? Because until now, I had a huge respect for Smart India Hackathon. 
and Smart India Hackathon 2023 completely destroyed it. This is a way, like Smart India Hackathon 2023 is a perfect representation of how a hackathon should not be conducted. Improper timelines, no care for the students. They just they just want to conduct the hackathon in the name that, okay, we have conducted Smart India Hackathon, this many students have participated, they will just show it off the record. It is already a disaster. Smart India Hackathon 2023 is already a disaster. And they don't bother. They just want to conduct. They just want to take the name that Smart India Hackathon, world's biggest hackathon we have conducted. This many students have partook. Without students, what hackathon are you guys going to conduct? I still can't understand that. And this is a major expose. Apart from this, they have brought something which is called as wild card entry. <laughs> I saw one funny comment saying that is this Big Boss or something else. I still doubt the same because until last year, what wildcard entry was? Let me explain that. Now, this year, everyone were able to submit multiple ideas and stuff. Last year, it was not like that. Like, we can submit only one idea after the internal hackathon. Just 20 or 25 days before the finale, you will get a your portal will get opened again stating that you can submit multiple ideas now. That is called wildcard submission. And through that submission, if you get selected, that comes as wildcard entry. But this time, what's pathetic is that teams which have already received the mail that they have been selected have been replaced with wildcard entry. Is this a joke? Is this a joke? I think this is the same person. Uh, till yesterday evening, our team's name was in the list of finalists. But from yesterday evening, our name and all teams selected with issue ID were removed from the list and new teams were included in their place. And for this, we were not given any explanation from SIH. We have wrote many mails. Yeah, I know that they are not responding for anything. So maybe we can just check it out directly, okay, directly in this video itself. So there is a problem statement code SIH 1422. Okay, guys. How about the expose? Let's directly go. That was that. Hmm. 1422. 1422. Okay. So these are all the teams, right? Mighty Python set coders. Species. Okay. Byte bandits, prime overs, strikers. Guys, I don't see even see a single team. Is this a joke? Is this a joke I'm asking? A national level hackathon and these people have just changed the results. What if they book their tickets? Will they refund it? Will they refund it? That's the question here. They would have booked their tickets. They would have received the confirmation mail stating that they have been shortlisted. And now these people have just removed uh, them without even any notice. What the hell is this wild card? <laughs> What the hell is this wild card? <laughs> no guys, no guys. Definitely. I would have made this playlist like in the start that how to win Smart India Hackathon 2023 and I am now sitting roasting Smart India Hackathon. Because I have no other option. This is not what is expected from them, right? Maybe I can just walk through some of the comments which you guys have given. Okay. So we are still waiting for rescheduling of exams. We have done by booking train tickets. Yes, most teams have booked their tickets and then they have got cancelled or their exams are not rescheduled or they have been removed from wait list. Ah, that was one thing. Not only selected teams. As per the uh, organizing flow of Smart India Hackathon 2023, five teams will be selected at first, two waitlisted teams. If any team backs out from the selected and then the waitlist team should come in. This was the logic. And... All of a sudden from nowhere, there is no word which is called as wildcard entry mentioned anywhere in the guideline. But they have brought that. They have brought that. They have replaced teams which have been selected. No waitlisted teams have come in and... I think I am repeating. Sorry, but... I don't know. Like... Uh, the SH was literally our dream. After investing so much efforts and time, we got selected. And it's really so pathetic that we can't even feel happy about it. Grievances from a student. Grateful to this channel. I don't know. Okay. Can we raise this? Ah, yes. This was one thing which I thought to tell each one of you who are partaking in Smart India Hackathon. Tomorrow, you guys have a meeting with the AICTE Vice Chairman. I think it's AICTE Vice Chairman, I guess. Yes, this is the one. This is the only way where you guys can raise your concern. That what's the problem is going on. I don't know if uh, these people will know 
actually what are the problems that you guys are facing they will be sitting <clears throat> i should not talk all that i'm just saying this guys won't even know so please raise your concerns here this is the only way the last option which you have to let them reschedule because they know that they have messed up everything but they are hiding it off they are going like undercover agents now not to show off that what mistake they have done and my pledge is for every youtube channel who have posted regarding smart india hackathon to also highlight all these issues i don't know why you people are not doing that that's what is expected from you not only to show the good face of it how many students are suffering because of this it's most of them have kept it as a dream after getting shortlisted they are unable to go it's not a joke if you can say why are you uh, supporting this many of students if they would have been 10 teams it would have been 15 teams it was it is a different case 500 600 teams won't be able to partake in the finals just because of this people's common senseless schedule common senseless schedule that is what i would say comparing to last year's smart india hackathon which was well planned july again i am saying july 14th we received the result august 2nd we received the nodal center t-shirt standy details and then august 25th the finale can you see the timeline gap and this year <laughs> december 9 you are getting the final results with all this wild card shit and stuff and after that 9th in this the finals and still you haven't got the t-shirt standy mail so use this opportunity guys that's all i can say please use this opportunity this is one way where you can try to raise your voice and do something because i am doing what i can do the best i don't know what's the next level that i could do because i have also been removed as an evaluator now because i have no other uh, option now rather than only this video and maybe i will be making a video very soon on how to crack the finale because i am currently not in the mindset to make that video because i totally lost my respect on smart india hackathon to be honest and winning the smart india hackathon that is 2023 um i am not sure what it would be something that is prestigious for you but from my perspective this is not like a hackathon that has to be conducted it looks like a political game okay so but whoever are partaking all the best and whoever have not been able to partake because of this kind of shit don't bother guys this is just a hackathon okay you have a lot more to achieve in your life don't feel for all this cuz i got to know people who have like broken down just because of this don't worry guys lot more to come okay this is just one of a hackathon this is nothing that is going to decide your life or something it would have been an experience but you will get better experience next time not with smart india hackathon you can partake with different hackathons that are happening all over the world okay so all the best don't give up brighter future is coming for each one of you <laughs> don't worry about smart india hackathon signing off kemal eldas